hi guys this is fearless and fiery for christ and i have come here guys to just share with my dear listeners and my dear brothers and sisters in christ two dreams that i had and these are dreams of darkness and i had them one of it was last year and another one was this year and I have just been convicted to share these dreams. So I happen to write them in a notebook where I usually write things that I sense, revelations, dreams. And so I have been convicted to share these dreams. And I had asked the Lord to confirm whether he wanted me to share those dreams. And because the Lord confirmed this very night, I decided to be obedient and to follow my conviction because I don't want the Lord to, you know, think that I'm being disobedient and I don't want to be disobedient. So, guys, that's why I'm sharing these two vivid dreams of darkness that I had. And I know that there are a lot of dreams that are being shared of the three days of darkness. But I titled this video Dreams of Darkness because I don't know whether it was three in my dream. It, it, it really wasn't three days or four but it was gross and thick darkness and the first dream that i had was so vivid i have never had such a vivid dream before and i happen to be a dreamer i dream every night every night i dream sometimes i dream like three times in one night but I really remember my dreams, rarely. But this happened to be a dream that was so vivid. It was like, I don't know, have you ever watched an, a really engaging movie? That was the dream that I had. And I remember I woke up that morning and I sat up in my bed. And the first thing I told my husband was, wow. I just had the most vivid dream ever. And I think because of the expression that I had on my face, my husband just looked at me and he really wanted to hear it. And I had not asked the Lord for any dream. This just came. It was just a dream that came about. So that night, this is what I dreamt. I was at home with my mom my daughter and my son and i happened to be married but i have no idea where, the, where my husband was but i was at home and when i say home i'm not talking about um matrimonial home like where i live right now with my husband no i was at home where i was raised so i was there with my mom um, with my daughter and my son and we happened to be in a car and yet i really don't have a car my mom doesn't have a car either but we happened to be in a car and it was actually in the evening and we happened to see thick dark clouds engulfing the sky it wasn't at night it was in the evening and we happened to see very thick dark clouds just coming slowly very slowly i would explain it like this I don't know whether you have seen if you drop um if you drop a drop of ink in a glass let's say a glass of water you have a glass of water and you take a small drop of ink and you drop it whether it is yeah let's say black or navy blue ink you see how it spreads really slowly that is what i saw in the dream there were thick dark clouds clouds that i have never seen in my life the blackness of it that is what made the dream so vivid because in the dream i was very is it anxious i don't know what is the word to use when i as i looked at those clouds and so i looked at them engulfing the sky and then my mom my daughter and my son they came out of the car and so they were looking up at the sky we were all looking up at the sky and how thick you know how thick and how black the sky looked and these clouds were just coming towards us and i thought to myself in the dream i thought to myself is this what people have been
what is this the darkness that the people have been talking about and i also saw the map of africa i happened to be kenyan and i saw the map of africa and in the map of africa i saw kenya that's where i come from and in the center of kenya was written the number 96 i have no idea what 96 means i woke up that morning and i was thinking why 96 but i really don't know i'm simply relating what i saw and the clouds were so thick guys so thick and i thought to myself we need to get into the house right now so i told my mom my daughter and my son guys we need to get into the house right now because those thick black clouds were so intimidating and so we got into the house and the dream ended so that was the first dream that i got last year then i got another dream this year i was not even thinking about this, the, the three days of darkness i wasn't thinking about anything of the sort but this is the dream that i had and in this dream uh this must have been around um january of uh, this year january 2021 and so in this dream i was at home like my 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 marital home um the the gate was different i have a black gate but in this dream i had a blue gate and so i went to open the gate and when i opened the gate there were a couple of children playing outside in in, in our estate and they were busy playing but at the same time there there happened to be a whirlwind you know those those, those little tornadoes so there was a whirlwind and there were papers and and a little bit of trash going in the whirlwind and the whirlwind was just growing slowly and steadily as it went up into the sky uh, but the funny thing is the kids were just playing really quite oblivious of this and as i looked up at the sky friends i happened to see the strangest thing i saw three maybe should i call them angels should i call them celestial beings i have no idea but i just saw three angels and they had swords and they were fighting and what is funny is that three these three angels uh, looked like you know these indians the way they have this ponytail in their you know the, the way they have this ponytail thing even when they're men long black hair ponytailed and they had a tint on their skin I have no idea what this means i am simply reporting what i saw in the dream and they, and they reminded me these angels reminded me of those um, indian gods is it krishna or shiva i don't know but that's that's just what i saw and that's how they looked and they were very busy fighting and the more they fought the greater the wild wind became and so as i was just looking at this thing happening with these beings as i looked further into the sky i saw clouds coming in really thick and my daughter in the dream my daughter was not at home i have no idea where she was but she was not at home and in my head i thought oh my goodness i need to get my daughter i need to call my mom and tell her to start preparing because the darkness that was coming in because in the dream this must have been around probably 10 o'clock or 11 or noon it was pretty much daytime it was daytime and the clouds were thick i could see them all the way just coming in slowly and you could tell you know the way when when it's just about to rain and the clouds become dark gray and they just move and you know very soon it's going to rain that's what i could tell from the very thick clouds that were coming in slowly but surely and i knew i need to find my daughter where is my daughter she needs to be in the house before this darkness comes in and so those were the two very vivid dreams i've had about this darkness that i know will come in these last days when will it come i have no idea but i really felt convicted to share 
you know to share those two dreams that i had because it has really been in my mind but i wanted to share a scripture i wanted to share acts chapter 1 verse 6 and 7 because i know that people who are setting very specific dates i really don't know about a date but i know for sure that there will be days a time of darkness is coming a time of gross thick darkness and we are told in the bible in very many scriptures you find it in joel chapter 2 you find it in amos you find it in revelations you find it in matthew that there will be a time when the sun will not give its light neither will the moon and the stars will fall from the sky you know it is said over and over so we know that there is a time of darkness coming and in but in acts chapter 1 verse 6 and 7 um jesus was with his disciples and so this his disciples were asking him lord will you at this time restore the kingdom to israel and so the lord said to them it is not for you to know times or seasons which the father has put in his own authority so from what i see usually the lord doesn't really give specific dates about a time when certain major things are going to happen so i remember that verse but guys the bible tells us that there is a time when the sun will not give its light let me just share joel chapter 2 verse joel chapter 2 verse 10 yes joel chapter 2 verse 10 it says the earth quakes before them the heavens tremble the sun and moon grow dark and the stars diminish their brightness in joel chapter 2 it's talking about the day of the lord it's talking about a time when there will be darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and thick darkness joel chapter 2 verse 2 and it talks about these beings who will come they will be great and strong the like of whom has never been nor will there ever be any such after them even for many successive generations and in joel chapter 3 verse 15 it says the sun and moon will grow dark and the stars will diminish their brightness it has to do with the day of the lord it has to do with the lord judging the nations so friends we know that there will be a time of darkness thick darkness coming the bible says that the, the the stars will fall from the sky and when the word talks about stars it's not really talking about you will see from different verses it's not just stars it's celestial beings because the word talks about angels being stars and we know that we have the holy angels we know that we have the fallen angels this, the, the the powers the spiritual powers in high places those wicked forces those are the fallen angels and and angels are sometimes referred to as stars so friends i encourage us to stay in the word to stay in prayer i encourage us to fast when the holy spirit convicts us to fast you know sometimes in this life we are so busy with other stuff that we tend to ignore the nudgings of the holy spirit and when he wants us to pray and when he wants us to fast you know he sees things that we cannot see with our physical eyes so i encourage us to be in the word and i encourage us to fast i encourage us to pray because we are living in a very tricky times very evil times and times of great deception we need to be connected to the vine and the vine is the lord jesus christ himself so guys i just wanted to come and share those two dreams because i had asked the lord to confirm whether he wanted me to share those dreams and because the lord confirmed it here i am sharing them so guys be blessed and stay connected to the vine who is the lord himself he will keep us 
and he may we ask him to continue leading us into all truth in this very deceptive times be blessed guys